Hey everybody, welcome back to The Loop. Yesterday we started looking together at the book of Hosea. We saw the prophet Hosea was told to marry a promiscuous woman. Her name was Gomer. God would use this relationship as a teaching analogy. Just as Gomer was unfaithful to Hosea, God's people are often unfaithful to him. Today, I want to take you to Hosea 3, and I want you to think about what has the potential to pull your heart away from God. Chapter 3, verse 1, Hosea wrote this, The Lord said to me, Go show your love to your wife again, though she is loved by another man and is an adulteress. Love her as the Lord loves the Israelites, though they turn to other gods and love the sacred raisin cakes. Now, if you're like me, you read those last few words and you think, what's so bad about raisin cakes? People who ate raisin cakes were people who lived a life of luxury. And so God is saying that his people love other gods and they love their life of luxury even more than they love him. And so let me ask you, what do you love more, God or your life of luxury? Jesus said, a man cannot have two masters, for he will hate the one and love the other, or he'll be devoted to the one and despise the other. And then Jesus said this, you cannot serve both God and money. When you think about what faithfulness to God looks like, make sure that life of luxury doesn't creep in and steal your heart. You were not made for possessions. You were made for relationship. Those possessions are never going to love you back, but God will love you back. He loves you so much that he asked his son Jesus to lay down his life for your sins. He paid the ultimate price to have a relationship with you, just like Hosea paid the price to have a relationship with Gomer in chapter 3, verse 2. So today, guard your heart. Make sure that your heart belongs to God, not the blessings that God has given you. Thank you.